Today's Sunday, it's the 3rd, 3rd of March 2024 and uh, we're down on the Playa de Palma. It's been very windy of late and uh, the is. sea is very rough. It's still very windy. Uh, we might have to cross over to the other side in a bit, but uh, the sea is looking spectacular. Let's take a look at that. That's looking towards Palma. Uh, imagine there's not too many people out having a walk. But that sea is so rough. I'm surprised there's no surfers out on it. They must be out somewhere. Lots and lots of waves. And that's walk looking down now towards Arenal. I will go for a walk. It is all wrapped up. Um, it is a bit cool, it's probably only about 14 degrees, so it does feel a bit chilly with the wind being so strong. And uh, there's actually plenty of places which uh, have got chairs outside, <laughs> not a lot of people sitting on them, uh, perhaps on the inside. I've lost an itter already, she's uh, doing her own video. It's uh, Baleares Day weekend. Uh, Baleares Day is the 1st of March. Uh, so every year on the 1st of March there should be some celebrations going on. Mostly in Palma, but dotted around the island as well. Uh, in Marachi at this time they have the clay festival. Fera de Fang. And uh, lots of things to do with pottery there. Which we went to last year but it doesn't look as though we're going to manage it this year it is getting very bit breezy on this side i don't think anita's going to like it she's sending off her videos to a friend i'm going to lose my hat as well from looking at the wind's wind is behind us so uh, it's not right into our face, I think, on the return walk, definitely be on the other side. There's the uh, lifeguard station, new no, no lifeguards on it, yet yeah, for quite a while. But you have to. I'm holding my hat at the moment, it's, um, it's about to blow away. <laughs> That's a sea that uh, we've seen some rough seas. This one just looks really rough. We've got breaking waves way out there. In the distance, we can actually see a couple of um, these sails that they use for this to sit. hear the wind blowing through the buildings. Sun shining. Small blessings. We should go and have a cup of coffee somewhere. <laughs> I think that might be a good idea. watching the news this week and uh, one thing that uh, really sad saddened me in the UK was the fact that uh, Dave Myers, one of the hairy bikers, had passed away after his long struggle with, with cancer. Um, the hairy bikers is certainly one of the programs that both Anita and I do enjoy watching, I enjoy the food that they cook, uh, the crack that they make, they just the, the two guys really blend well together and uh, really sad to have lost, uh, lost Dave and uh, sorry for him, his family, his side, uh, it's going to be missed but uh, 
lots of programs I'm sure will be repeated over and over again keep the memory uh, alive one of our favourite meals is the hairy diet is a Thai curry yeah we did the, we have got the hairy dieters book which I'm not sure whether we're actually using it at the moment um, but diet's going reasonably well I have the occasional falter but uh, pretty much uh, on track and uh, the grams are falling off me not kilos <laughs> hopefully kilograms yeah <laughs> there was another really sad story as well tragic story in uh, Magaliff here which I don't know whether caught the news outside the island but uh, concerned uh, a little child four-year-old child who was uh, with his uh, aunt and uh, they both fell asleep and he, when he woke up he thought he'd trick his aunt by going to hide and uh, went to hide in the tumble dryer which was on the terrace of the apartment and somehow the door managed to get locked and uh, the poor child suffocated this, this is such a tragic thing I was saying to Anita as we were driving here, and I think when I was young, I, I seem to remember hearing a lot about this sort of thing happening with the fridges that we had then. Uh, and the fridges used to have locking doors. Uh, nowadays, they just. Nowadays, the fridge just has a, a magnetic closure. Somehow this child had managed to get into a tumble dryer and uh, the door would snap shut on it. Very, very sad. I see buses on the beach. Starting to see a few more people, some dog walkers on the beach as well. And the waves are getting now closer to the sea wall. Still holding on to my hat. It's not this windy for the match today. <laughs> that should be interesting. We've got a football match uh, later on this afternoon, half past six, and uh, it's against one of the top teams as well. Uh, Girona have been playing really well this season. Second, uh, they are. They're second at the moment. So. Um, it's not going to be an easy match at all. And uh, the teams below us have been uh, doing well, so it's all the more important that we get something out of this match. Really, we've got to win it. We've got some difficult matches coming up over the next few weeks. Uh, we've got Barcelona to play, we've got uh, Real Madrid to play. None of these are going to be easy matches at all for Mallorca. And uh, they've got the cup final against Cup. A lot of people have been saying, uh, are you going to the cup final? Fortunately, we're not. Uh, Serena's coming out that week and uh, wanted to stay with us, so that was planned some time ago. And. Uh, well, if we could go away for the day, maybe we'd consider it, but Leon's a good foot, big football fan as well. So, we have a good opportunity to have a family evening in, watching the telly and supporting our team. Um, at the moment, there's real problems just getting to Seville. It's, uh, for, for us, it's a flight. Uh, and all the flights pretty much are booked up for that time. Uh, one of the airlines has put on 10 flights. So the local newspaper said for the predicted numbers, they don't need 10 flights, they need 100 flights. Uh, 10 flights is only 1,800 people. And uh, they're predicting something like 20,000 wanting to go. Uh, so there's a big problem. And uh, to solve the problem, Real Mallorca uh, the officials from the club 
are going to meet with the Football Association who are responsible for the Copa del Rey and uh, having a meeting to see how uh, things can be helped so that supporters can get there. Just go over there. Want to go for a coffee now? Do you want to? Alright. I need to spot it somewhere open. Oh, my uh, hat blows away. There are quite a few places open and the shops are open as well. Uh, oh, we've even got the tourist train, look. People are on it as well. People are on it and they're all wrapped up. <laughs> There's one or two people on the cycles, but other than that, look, it's uh, quite down here. Cafe. I don't think we'll sit outside. No, I don't think we'll sit outside either. Get blown away. It's a nice supermarket. I don't there after. It's all closed up at the front here, keeping the draft out. That children's park. Nobody in there. Let's go in. Warm ourselves up with a coffee. Well, it's nice to get out of the wind. Number two, a nice, a nice hot cup of coffee. So, cheers. Well, that was a nice uh, coffee we had there and uh, just like to say thank you to Johnny Santos thank who while we were sitting there sent us a super thanks uh, said have a coffee so we did oh Anita's found a shop travel looking it's still very windy and uh, well, we're going to make our way back towards the car but Anita's having a look in the shop as she does we've got ice creams down there nicely presented very windy, very, very windy. Blowing on the trees. And I can't get over the sea actually, I just uh, do like a rough sea. Not on it though, looking at it from a distance. As we were driving along, we're looking at the mountains and uh, well, there could have been sign of some snow on the top of them. We have had snow in the last week or two. Um, just a few centimetres. Not sure whether that's still on the mountains or not. Difficult to tell. You will never guess how much Jose Ferrer is in there. Go on, surprise me. How much is you 7 euros guess. 50? Jose Ferrer. Can you guess how much it is? 7 euros 85. <laughs> double it. 15 euros? Double it. No, no, don't double it. 16.95. Right, so we pay what less than 8 ripper. euros uh, in our local supermarket, so just be aware that uh, some of the prices here, you might just want to go round the corner. We've all got to make some money, but uh, I think maybe things like that are a little bit a rip off. Not even that much at the airport. No. Um, imagining that in a few weeks time Mega Park here will be open and there'll be lots of boozy tourists uh, sitting outside and inside. Never actually been inside. Certainly I've walked past and seen boozy tourists sitting on the terrace here. It is a little bit more sheltered on this side. <laughs> Not much. Still lots of work going on with the scaffolding all up there on this hotel and uh, still quite a bit of work to be done. wind 
It's a bit of sea spray and I can actually taste the salt. So here's the work that's going on here. You can see major construction. of the shops and the bars and the restaurants here are aimed at the, uh, the German speaking market. There's a sign there in English and in Spanish uh, they're looking for work uh, workers. There's a hotel here that looks to be open, but uh, all the beds are out and uh, windows are being cleaned. Ooh. We've actually been in there with Sunil. In the past, a friend of ours got a shop up here. Your shop phone? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Brave souls sitting outside there. They've, uh, they've got a little windbreak, so that's to protect them. And the hotel behind, which is the Hotel Rio San Francis. So, lots of, lots of hotels now starting to open up. Hopefully, the weather will be changing over the next few days. The style for this. Next week is looking pretty good. It's a bit um, like Leon the Solent, isn't it, this? <laughs> it's as windy as Leon the Solent, yeah. It's just about 10 degrees warmer. Mm -hmm. 
Look at the bridge. There are really mountainous waves out there. Danny. No, I did see a picture of Sunil. I think he was still in India. near to the end now so uh, time for us to say farewell. I asked Anita if we could uh, come across the road get a bit closer to the sea to say farewell to say bye bye say thank you very much for watching and we look forward to see you in the next video bye for now I can't finish just without a last look at this magnificent sea and the wind that's coming with it.